Do you know much about SpongeBob? Get ready to hear a lot of interesting things by watching the video with the creation of my new drawing. SpongeBob SquarePants was created not by a designer or a concept artist, but by a marine scientist. Steven Hillenberg was a biology teacher at the Ocean Institute. The idea for the series came about when Steven, working on an animation project, looked at a sponge under a microscope. This strange organism inspired him to create the main character. Many of the series' ideas Hillenberg created in 1989 like a comic book to teach his students about undersea life. Just imagine, he didn't even anticipate the success that would come 10 years later. The pilot episode of the series was created back in 1997. It was shown on Nickelodeon and received positive feedback, leading to the launch of the full series in 1999. Initially, the main character's name was Sponge Boy, and besides that, he was round. However, when it was discovered that this name was already used for a cleaning product, it was decided to rename him to SpongeBob. After Hillenberg joined Nickelodeon in 1992, several years passed before he began developing SpongeBob SquarePants into a television series. In 1997, a seven-minute pilot was pitched to Nickelodeon. The network's executives wanted SpongeBob to be a child in school, but Hillenberg preferred SpongeBob to be an adult character. He was prepared to abandon the series, but compromised by creating a boating school so SpongeBob could attend school as an adult. Creating an animated series involves the work of many people, it's a meticulous and lengthy process. But to create one episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, which lasts 11 minutes, takes about 9 months. Squidward is actually an octopus, not a squid. He's depicted with six tentacles because it's easier to animate him that way. Actor Tom Kenny, who voices SpongeBob, is married to the actress who voices Plankton's computer wife, Karen. Throughout the history of the animated series, numerous celebrities have participated in voicing characters, including singer Pink and Johnny Depp. According to his driver's license, SpongeBob SquarePants was born on July 14, 1986, so he's almost 40 years old now. Also, in one of the episodes, Mr. Krabs' driver's license is shown, which indicates his birth date as November 30, 1942, making him over 80 years old. In honor of the main character of the animated series SpongeBob, a new species of fungi was named Spongiforma SquarePants C in 2010. To watch all 189 episodes of the animated series, you would need to spend 3,780 minutes, or 63 hours. SpongeBob has a Facebook page and Twitter. His friend Patrick also has pages on these platforms. The SpongeBob cartoon is broadcast in 171 countries worldwide in 36 languages. One third of SpongeBob viewers are adults. And in Japan, the majority of the show's fans are women. The characters of SpongeBob are referenced in TV shows such as The Simpsons, South Park, Beverly Hills 90210, and others. SpongeBob is ambidextrous, meaning he is equally proficient with both his right and left hands. One time, SpongeBob dolls were flying off the shelves, for example 75,000 could be easily sold in a week. In 2007, Time Magazine named this TV series one of the greatest shows ever to exist. And it's true. The SpongeBob SquarePants series has become one of the most successful animated projects in television history. It has gained countless fans worldwide and has become a cultural phenomenon, influencing generations of viewers of all ages. I hope you enjoyed these facts in my video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you soon again. Bye.